Hi, I'm Mary Jo. I'm here at Mingle Design Center in Plymouth with Laura Bowen of Five Star Stagings. We're here to talk about how to make your bathroom sparkle, shine, look like a spa, so buyers love it. So Laura, what tips do you have for homeowners to spruce up their bathroom? What should they do and what shouldn't they do? Okay, so the first thing that you should do is create your bathroom as if it's like your spa and your oasis. It's your place to get away from the world, get away from work and relax. So um, first thing we can talk about is paint. Um, as far as a paint color in your bathroom, keep it to like a cream or shades of blue, but like pastel blues. No lime Something, green. No lime green, no <laughs> pinks. Um, just keep it to those blue because that reminds you of water, right? And it's, you want to create that oasis type of feel. Um, especially if you have a large master bathroom with like a jacuzzi tub. You want to give it that <clears throat> luxurious feel. Mm -hmm. um, and another thing you can do is just do like really fresh, fluffy white towels. Um, hang them up on your your towel bar um, and white washcloths as well. So, like something I really like to do is put a little basket even on your um, bathroom countertop or even on top of like the the tank of your toilet. You can put a basket there and roll white washcloths or um, hand towels and put them in there. Um, if you have toilet paper or something sitting around, take it away. Um, Little and trash cans. Yeah, anything like that. Trash cans. I've seen the plungers on the floor. Nice. Put them, a clue. put them under the sink. Um, anything like that. Um, just to clear it. Especially clear your bathroom countertop. So that means your your toothbrush, your toothbrush holder, your toothpaste, hair your hair brushes, yes, anything like that. Any any binders, any makeup. Stack it any, away. Yep, okay. just put it all away as clean as you can possibly get it. Because all you really need on your bathroom counter, especially if you have double sinks, all you really need is like a nice flower centerpiece, something tall, something just really pretty that's going to stand out in photographs. Um, or if you just have a, one sink, you know, in, in the corner you can put like an apothecary jar and shove it with um, Q-tips or um, cotton balls, things like that, and you can roll up a washcloth and put a bar of soap on it. You know, from even if you have one from a hotel that you stole, you know, yeah, that you have. You know, just I've done it. You know, you just put it on there, and it looks again as like looks that like spa, a spa. Yeah. oasis. You're getting away. And How about shower curtains? What should they, what should they think about? Shower curtains again. I would stick to whites and creams, solid we, colors. How about theme? Um, Little mermaids, fish, get rid sailboats. Of any, yeah, no, you're better off honestly if you don't. If you don't have the money to like that you don't want to purchase a shower curtain or yours is just really patterned or dated it's better just to get rid of it all together than to have anything at all um, otherwise just stick with a solid white or cream or again if you have like those pastel uh, blue colors in your kitchen on your kitchen or sorry bathroom wall then just kind of match it, make it a matching color with your shower curtain. So bottom Bring in those line colors. is, you want it to look like a spa, yeah. like a hotel. Very nice and clean feeling is what mm -hmm. you want to do. So uh, if you'd like more information, click right below. We have 10 tips from Laura. And if you get stuck doing it yourself, you can always call her. She'll come in and help.